All right, we are following some groundbreaking news on this Friday. Amazon buying Whole Foods. I'm here now with Brian Sazi from the street. Brian, unbelievable. Mind-blowing. I mean, this we had our top story right now on the street uh, is the, what this deal means across retail. This is Amazon getting into bricks and mortar retail in a big way beyond just bookstores. If you're a Walmart executive, you're a Target executive, you are scared out of your face this morning. Kroger, Target, Dollar General, Costco, all these stocks getting slammed this uh, morning. And they're going to stay slaughtered because what you're going to have here, Amazon coming in, they're going to be aggressive on price. They're going to probably roll out a lot more Whole Foods stores. Uh, you know, we had Kroger issue a massive earnings warning yesterday. And a I guidance cut. A guidance cut. I can't see it possibly getting any better in light of this big news. Now, $13.7 billion, is that fair value? What do you make of that price? Uh, it's, well, first of all, let's keep in mind, it's nothing for Amazon. This mm. is a drop in the bucket for them. Uh, for Whole Foods, it's fair. I mean, this is a company that's been struggling mightily. They've had activist investor pressure sell the company. I think, obviously, you have a Jeff Bezos, founder. Mm. John Mackey is leading the company, founder. Mm. They probably agree on many things. Good strategic fit. Fair value, yeah. I, I mean, the stock was probably going to keep going down anyway. What does Amazon founder Jeff Bezos want with this deal? I mean, it sounds like he just wants to go at Walmart. He wants stores. Domination. Him, yes, but also keep in mind the Whole Foods brand. I mean, it's very, very Jeff Bezos. Uh, it stands for something good. It's organic. It's new age. It fits with Amazon. But make no mistake, to your point, there is a hardcore war going on right now between Walmart and Amazon. And today, mm. in fact, just after the Amazon... Amazon news hit, Walmart came out and said they're acquiring Bonomos, uh, an online retailer. So they're, they're, they're going back and forth. We know Jana Partners was involved in yep. Whole Foods. Where do they fit into all this? I mean, they're winners. They're straight up chilling. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's, let's, be, let's, be, let's be real here. This is another win for an activist investor. They put pressure on these companies that are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. For the past two, three years, Whole Foods has been horribly, horribly managed. Mm -hmm. They run it as a private company. The stock was in the toilet as a result. They came in. They agitated for change. They overthrew the board. Phenomenal Whole Foods board right now. Uh, and, you know, big win for them. All right, we are going to be following this story throughout the day. And everyone should check back on the street for more of Brian Sazi's work. Brian, thank you so much. Thanks so much.